Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So Best Buy had the M1 Pro, uh, M1 Max actually. So I decided to pick it up, do some testing for you guys. Um, as you guys know, I was doing original testing on the M1 Air and um, now I'm back. <laughs> I actually returned that device to get the Zephyrus uh, RTX 370, but now, you know, the new M1 Max are out. So I figured for the channel, for my fans out there, for my subscribers, might as well make content. It seems like a lot of people want to know um, how the new M1 Max are, and especially with like other tests besides you know making video content, which is basically what all the YouTube reviewers are. So let me see if uh, I can get my camera adjusted a little bit, and this is all going to be running off. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to be screen recording, so I'm just going to do off screen recording, and this is running on battery. Uh, so let's just go right into the testing. So I've, I'm kind of just downloading some stuff that I want to test. I have uh, Windows Parallel already installed. I'm uh, installing New World at the moment. So if that messes up any of the bench, just have that in mind. Um, let's just see if New World runs. I'll, that'll be my next video, more gaming stuff. Um, but for the most part, you know, 32 gigabytes, M1 Max. Um, says I have four hours of battery life. So that's just been on installing Steam parallels blender and downloading stuff so came out of the box at like 90 and i don't know just for anyone who cares about battery life um i'm not plugged in so what i'm going to be testing is i got the still life i downloaded the splash fox and then i downloaded i think the air one and this the sheet of sky demo so i'm not actually like a blender person um but if you guys want to Give me some time to test more things out. I can do more research. I'm just downloading this because this is what people wanted to see. Um, so this one here is the Fox. Runs at 24 frames per second. Um, the, this one seemed to be very smooth when moving around. I think I've seen other reviews in the last year's M1 Air and on the 13-inch MacBook Pro were able to handle this. So to be expected, um, you know, not bad times or not bad, at least, uh, views. The latest one, the 2.93 actually is really s slow. Um, as you can see, kind of this stuttering, man, sorry about my camera, everyone. Let's see if I can adjust it so you can kind of see what's going on. Um, <laughs> I'm just trying to get, you know, my thoughts and reviews. Honestly, what most what I like doing is seeing if we play games because I just use my Zephyrus for making content and kind of mining Ethereum. Um, but if I could just take a MacBook, I could just, uh, you know, maybe give that device away to my brother or something. <laughs> um, so kind of laggy here uh, from this perspective. There's no play button, so I, this version doesn't, or this particular file, or it does have a play, sorry. It's three, three FPS on the M1 Max. Um, so I don't know what other benches. I guess I could install on my Zephyrus G RTX 370 to do a comparison video. That will be happening later this week. Um, the next files is the Nashido demo, Sky demo. So I'm just showing what the kind of initial views here are on the right. But it seems to be kind of using most of the cores um, 10 core processor and then I guess 32 core GPU. Uh, that would have been bomb if this one kind of had 32 frames per second, but I have nothing to compare it to, so I can't really say anything. Let's get. So the Shida one really seems to be real smooth. Uh, let me blow this up a little bit. Again, this is running on battery and also downloading New World at the same time on Windows 11 ARM on Parallel 17. Um, so I guess what I could try to do is do a render, right? See how that render comes across. So this one, I don't I'm gonna read it out to you if you can see, it's the Nishida Sky. It, says it's going to take about two minutes to render this file um, on battery. I don't know why this time is moving not linearly. I don't think it's been 30 seconds. 
on the left here. Um, but from time remaining, you can see um, it could be rendering your files out and still smooth here. So that's kind of a good bench is if, uh, you know, on your previous machines testing this blender, these demo files out and seeing what the render times are, uh, that could really uh, help you guys in terms of what you want to, if this device is worth upgrading or not. And again, Apple storage has, has them in, in, if you want them and the Best Buy as well, that's where I picked it up. You can see the cores here going all green. Let's take a look at the activity monitor in this rendering. It's down to 30 hours left, CPU load at about 65%. And then the disc, I know it was a big thing talking about swap memory last time. So that, I don't know if you guys could read this. It says, uh, let me see here, none used. So physical memory, 32 gigabytes, memory used 20 gigabytes, 11 gigabytes for cache files, no swap memory used. So if you guys were worried about SSD drives and the cache, this could be something that you want to consider is getting the 32 gigabytes, which is the minimum you have to get when you're doing M1 Max. So yeah, about a two minute render while I'm still able to look at the files and stuff of that nature, uh, not bad. How do I stop the render? Maybe if I just exit. Let's check out the last file. I believe it is the internal air pressure. So this one's running 25 FPS. It looks to be running smoothly um, to me. I guess it's a pillow or something. Um, again, I'm just going to do the render again. And if you guys have any comments or requests, leave them in the comments below. I'm just going to be testing this machine uh, for the next couple months. Uh, probably use it as my main so I can give you a day in the life. But, I mean, all I do is really make content and uh, play video games um, besides working in my consulting job. Uh, let's see how this render goes. If I could render the animation, that could be another thing. Anything pop up? All right, well, nothing is appearing for a render image or render scene. So I guess that this particular file doesn't have anything to render. So no cameras there. All right, everyone, for the uh, second part of this video, this test, I've decided to actually plug back in to see if that makes a difference in the files and the render time. So let's go back and let's open the Fox one. I think that one was the one we were using for the image render. It's loading up now. And again, remember, I'm actually still downloading some stuff. I actually downloaded Valorant now. I'm starting to download Valorant. Um, so again, any requests you have, leave in the comments. If you guys are gamers and want to see some of that stuff, um, just let me know. So again, hitting the play, you get some 22 frames per second. If you guys can't read that, I'll be reading it for you off the screen. And when we go to render image plugged in, I think one of the things uh, that I want to show you guys is that there is the high performance mode in the power adapter, which you could also set in the battery mode as well. Um, that actually took, uh, I guess it's done, <laughs> took uh, 18 seconds. It didn't actually show me uh, any of the files, but um, I think for comparison, someone had done this render um, and it had taken about 30 seconds on the M1. Uh, let me just double check that because I was actually just looking at everyone else's benches and stuff like that. I believe the M1 uh, Air did this in 30 seconds. So uh, maybe about 50% faster <coughs> in rendering times on the M1 Max. And then from activity history standpoint, um, a pretty quick render, uh, you know, impact of all the 10 cores for the CPU. And then of course the GPU cores as well. Let's see if we can render an animation actually, and do that test as well. Um, 
again, you guys will have to, I don't actually have, like, I'm not a full-time tech reviewer, so I don't actually have, like, multiple devices to test it on. The other only device I can have that's a laptop is the Zephyrus uh, 3070 that came out in 2021, which I actually still recommend if you guys are gamers. It seems like most of the Apple fans here want to see video or gaming benchmarks. I would honestly just get a gaming laptop, but it could be cool to just have an all-in-one device. Um, so... Is this like a video or something? Oh, it is. Oh, it's rendering each frame. So this doesn't actually really help the benchmark, but it does seem to be rendering each frame quickly. I'm getting the mouse wheel here, getting some slowness uh, from that, um, from it rendering each frame. wonder if I need to actually, okay, good. Cancel it. So, High performance mode doesn't really seem to be having much impact on the FPS, um, nor the render times. I do notice that in the ProMotion it is kind of smooth. Oh, it did. It made these images out for me. Cool. Um, let's open back up the 2.93 test because I was running at like two frames per second. See if high performance has any impact there. Um, let me just move this down a little. If you guys remember, it was really choppy. Still seems really choppy. Um, I guess minimal impact was running before at like 2.7 on the battery and then now is running like three. Uh, so kind of this scene still very taxing on the machine. Again, nothing else to compare it to. If you guys know your own research, um, leave some comments below for anyone who may be watching this video later in the future could help them out in terms of if they wanted to decide to get this machine or not. Still cool to the touch kind of warm on the sides um don't have a thing either so uh therm thermometer as you measure and again this scene seems the same folding air mattress i believe this one didn't have a render scene um so yeah kind of just a double take on the the tests from blender now powered in kind of marginal difference in impact and on high performance mode maybe if you're running out those animations could have a good sustained load but i estimate you probably only have like 10 like less than 10 percent impact there uh, so anyways if you guys are interested in more tests or want more tests uh, leave some comments below subscribe i'll be turning churning out some content this week um, before hopefully i go to the world series game or something <laughs> hopefully i could get tickets um and yeah Thanks for checking out this content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.